What's up guys? So, I've been wanting to do this, make this video for a while um, on these tech angles. You know, sometimes, sometimes you get these tools that, you know, you never knew how you got by without them for so long or something, you know, a tool comes along that, you know, you have and you use for the job and, you know, you wonder, you know, how the heck have I been doing this without this tool my whole life, you know? And, uh, you know, I got to give a, a big shout out to these tech angles, man. These things, you know, I've only had them for maybe a month. I had the half inch for maybe a month or so. But, you know, I've been trying to use the heck out of them. Um, I used the half inch one on a, uh, a head job and it, it made it a breeze. I mean, between some of the features these things have by uh, setting the degree and the memory it has on there, some of the features and the functions that for these things, you know, I have yet to even use some of them, um, you know, working on different cars. It's not like I do the same repetitive job over and over again, but man, I got to say these tools are some solid tools by Snap-on. These things are nothing short of just a slick tool that makes my job so much easier. You know, I, I mean, I feel like everything I torque down now is an overkill, like, I, like I'm torquing it too perfect sometimes. Um, Cause you know, before using the old dial in and all that stuff, you know, you figure most of the time you feel it in the elbow, you know, you feel it in the wrist. Okay, that's tight enough. You know, torquing down these tires, I use the split beam, been using that for years. You know, I'll probably always use the split beam when it comes to torquing lugs down, you know, really don't need anything else. But uh, you know, these digital, these digital torque wrenches are, uh, are really cool. I just want to dive down and talk about some of the features. I got an old crusty motor over there. I'm going to go over there and, uh, you know, test out some of the degrees and all that stuff. You know, you guys, if you guys got them out there, you know what I'm talking about. You guys using these things, these are solid tools. Um, you know, hats off to snap on on these things, you know, and I know other companies make ones almost like it, kind of like it, but these things from the handle, the new handle design, the screen, the backlit screen, you know, uh, the directions, changing directions, you got the snap on head on there. I mean, nothing's going to beat that, you know, but let's dive down, check these things out, get a little detail in it, and then we'll head over to that motor and play around with it a little bit. Check it out, guys. All right, guys, got these bad boys in uh, in screen here, but uh, here's the uh, three eighths way it looks. I'm pretty sure you guys, uh, you know, have looked these up. You guys interested in these things? It's the part number on this one. Um, there's the part number there. ATEC two F R one zero zero B. That's for the snap-on 3 8 tech angle. I mean, these things are slick. Here's some of the controls on it. You got your power button. You got the up, down. You got the, you know, it's a measurement. You got the back arrow and then the back lit. Get this thing powered on. It's also got LEDs on the side here. I mean, this thing is built solid. I mean, even the plastic on it is solid. You could tell. I mean, this ain't no chintzy plastic. But uh, let's get this thing powered up. Snap-on logo pops up. This one, another cool thing, if you leave the batteries in this thing, they recommend not to leave the batteries in this thing for leaking reasons and things like that. So, you know, if you're letting this thing sit up for more than a week or two, you know, they say take the batteries out, store the batteries in the case and all that stuff. You know, I do take the batteries out, but I was messing around with this. I torqued a couple of bolts earlier today, had to torque down a few fasteners. So it saves the settings, though. If you keep the batteries in it, it pretty much saves everything in it. The little zeros here are... Uh, it, got a torque counter in here um, something I really don't use I guess if I'm torquing down a hundred bolts you know you could kind of use that as a sequence number them all and then kind of look back and make sure you got them all you know if you only torque nine or eight down and you still got ten left you know you missed two somewhere so that's kind of a cool feature I don't really use some of that stuff you know I just kind of use it to torque things down the, the angle tor portion of it, it's really nice I've used that probably more than I've used just regular torque part of it at least on that one, I have with the 90 torque 90. I had a head job do 
I think it was like 27, then you had to back it off and then torque it down to 47 in sequence and then 90 and then another 90. And that, I did that with a half inch, but going through some of these, it's got your standard foot pounds of torque. It converts into inch pounds. So if you set something in, in foot pounds, you hit the con into inch pounds, it converts it over. So the 40 uh, foot pounds is 480 in inch pounds. And then it's got the Newton meters, that's uh, 52.4 Newton meters. And then it's got the uh, kilograms of four centimeters, something like that, don't really use that one. But that's uh, kilogram, four centimeters. And then it's also got the digital Newton meters, which I don't use either. But uh, nice to have it. <clears throat> you know, if it gives you something, you go to look something up, sometimes you get some of these torque specs, you know, and they tell you torque specs in Newton meters. You know, you don't really uh, use Newton meters, so you could put it in there, say it's 50 Newton meters, get down to 50, and then you can convert it over, and it pretty much tells you what that is in foot pounds. So 36.9 in foot pounds, pretty simple, you can convert it over. So, and then you can store memory in it and all that stuff. So, you know, if you're doing certain head bolts, that's, you know, 40 Newton meters, you could save that setting. So that way, you know, you go on to it, you go to memory one function, bunch of stuff. And I mean, the, the manual on this thing is like super thick. I think it's like 30 or 40 pages of this thing. But uh, that's pretty much all the units of measurement. And then it's got the, uh, you hit the little back arrow here. It's got the torque angle setting on it. And you could, same thing, you could set memory on it. It's got a little G-force, probably a calibrator thing in there. Um, you got to set it down, and it always starts off at 180 degrees, which is obviously all the way. It's not going to go any further than that. But, uh, you know, you use that pretty much between 45, 90, 30. I don't know if you're ever torquing anything to 180. Usually that would be 90 and 90 in two separate sequences, but it's nice that it goes up that high. Um, but same thing with this, you know, you just scroll on down, you hold it and it goes a little faster. That's kind of one of the features, kind of a flaw though. You got to sit here and wait. It goes faster and faster as you hold it though. So, pass it up, go back, and then it kind of skips. The longer you hold it, it starts skip, skipping by 10 and things like that. Here, take this up to 90. 90 is one I, I use often. But yeah, and then it knows so say you're going to torque angle it and you're limited on room, you know, you only get maybe 15 degrees or something. As long as you got a socket on there and it feels torque, it, it, it counts it. So you could go 15 degrees, it feels torqued, it'll count that. You go back, it'll stay at whatever you were, and then you go back and it won't start going again until that bolt starts to move. As long as you keep your hand steady, you can't be jerking it around. You got to keep a steady pressure on it while you're pulling down on it and it stays pretty accurate for you. But really love that feature. I'm gonna check. I'll show you guys what I mean when we go over the motor to kind of mess around with these things. The LEDs light up, kind of let you know you're getting close to the spec, close to your target. But man, some great tools. Show you guys the uh, and then to turn it off, you just hold the power button, shuts it off. Mess around with the half inch. Same deal with this one. I got this one in red. I don't know why. Not that it bothers me, black and red is cool, but this one's kind of got like a pinkish color to it, I noticed. I don't know if any of you guys got this one, but let me know, I, that looks kind of pink. That's not really some snap-on red. I mean, if you look, kind of compare it to something snap-on, you know, you can see the red is kind of off a little bit. It's more of a pinkish color, but whatever. So same thing with this one, pretty much the same memory in there, same chip, same type software, snap-on logo lights up. This one, like I said, I used for uh, angling the last time, so it saved that for me in there. And then you got to set it down every time. It'll go to 180, and then that's pretty much... Oh no, 90 is the one I used this time last, so yeah, it does save it. And then same thing with this, it's got the backlight on it. I mean, these things are super slick, guys. I mean, let me know in the comments if you got any issues with these things. You got Other than the price, I mean, these things are pretty much top of the line in what they do I really love them but same deal with this it's got the units of measure here you go back to it foot pounds inch pounds newton meters kilogram meters oh yeah this one doesn't have digital uh, so just yeah kilogram and then uh, foot pounds so the inch pounds has the digital newton meters and all that stuff 
Not that, like I said, not that I use that at all. I think this one goes up to 250, and then all the way down to five, I wanna say it was. 12.5 uh, all the way down to. So pretty slick, man. You can get really precise on the torques on most of these cars. So let me get you guys set up over there by that motor. I wanna show you guys something as far as this uh, digital torque and all that stuff, how it holds reading and all that. All right, guys. So I got this old Toyota motor that I did, it's waiting to go back for a core, or at least waiting to get out of here. And uh, you know, I can pretty much do whatever I want with it. So if we break some bolts, who cares? It's a junk motor. But uh, just wanted to show you guys. I marked these bolts. I don't know if you can see this. This is how I used to kind of fly by and do my torque set, my angle set. You know, you got a 90 degrees. You do a slash on it. Turn it 90 degrees. You know the angle. The slash will be facing the other way. You do another angle 90 degrees, and it'll be back the way it was. That's how I used to do it. But I'm going to set this thing for 90. We're going to tighten this bolt here. We're going to go 90 degrees with it and see if it lines up with the other 90 degrees there. A little 10 millimeter. Let's turn this thing on. It's probably still going to be set to 90. We're going to have to set it down for it to get calibrated. Doesn't matter how you set it down as long as it's still. So we still got it set at 90 there. And we're going to see, we're going to torque this thing to 90 in, in one steady pace. And we're going to see if that is facing the opposite way from here to here. So get this thing on here. Let's see, get a good, I want a straight 90 here. That's good. And then you guys can see, let's get you set up so you can see the screen here. We'll do a straight 90 rotation here. Zoom out a bit. All right, here we go. And we'll see the lights light up when we start to get close to the target. Got amber, and then it'll green and vibrate when you get there. There's 90, and it's vibrating. I'm holding it right now. It's vibrating. Let me know I'm at 90. So we'll check. We'll check the yellow mark and see if it's facing the other way, and pretty much dead on. A perfect 90. So I want to see now with this one. I don't know if you guys are catching that one. Let me reangle it here. So we got this other bolt here. Get you zoomed in here real close we got this one here set up I got the 90 mark our starting point and we should end with this thing facing this way but this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go maybe 10 and then cycle back maybe another 10 cycle back go back and then we'll see when this thing says 90 if it's actually facing this way the way it should so here we go get a couple turns in say something's impeding our way go back get a couple clicks back where we got hit the tripod that's stopping me there we'll go again there's another 15 or so go back hitting the tripod Hit the 60 back couple clicks back out of it it's even counting our torque too we go we got to 90 there it's vibrating I don't know if you guys see that it's green it's vibrating let's see take it off there now and see if we got it pretty much 90 degrees I don't know if you guys are seeing that from here we started here that's 90 degrees there so it's facing this way now it's facing that way so I mean how much more accurate can you get these tools, man, these things are solid. You guys haven't seen these, man. Check them out. And then here we go. It's keeping track of it, too. You can see the little counter. You could reset that every time, the little two in the corner there. You could see, so if we had eight on here, we go through all eight of them and check this in sequence. When we get to number eight, we know we did them all. If we're only at five, we know we got a couple more to go and, and so on. Great tool, guys. So let's wrap this up. So yeah, guys, just wanted to, you know, give a shout out to these tech angles, man. If you guys, you know, were thinking about getting these things, you know, outside the cost of them, these things are great tools, you know, well worth the money, you know, kind of one of those things. Yeah, you got to probably get them calibrated every couple years or so, depending on how many times you use them or how often you use them. But I mean, to get something precise, you know, some of these new motors, you know, you got to be precise on these torques, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to, um, 
mess around and you know over torque something or not torque something enough end up having a comeback things like that end up breaking bolts and things like that especially with some of these you know one-time stretch bolts use you know you got to have you got to have the right torque on these things i mean these tools are uh you know something i've wanted for a while i picked up like i said about a month ago maybe a month and a half ago at least a half inch one been using the heck out of it as much as i can one of those tools you know you're happy to use them you know you like breaking it out and all that stuff but uh, you know, big tips on them. You know, don't leave the batteries in them when when you're putting them up. If you're not using them for a few weeks, I recommend taking the batteries out. You know, you guys can do what you want. It's your tools, but you know, for a tool that expensive, you know, you kind of got to get insurance on these tools. You know, you drop it, you need insurance on them to replace them. So, but uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of these tech angles. I know they've been out for a while, but. They're new to my shop, I've been using them. I'll probably end up getting a quarter inch one too. Um, it's not like I'm gonna need the three quarter one. I don't really do anything that heavy or anything like that. Nothing outside of the half inch can't take care of. But love the way these things come. Nice blow mold the cases. Throw them in the cases, keep the dust off them. I love them. That's about it guys. So we'll give a quick shout out to these things. You guys got these, let me know in the comments, like I said, what, what you guys think of them. I think they're great tools. You know, if you've been using them, how long you've been using them, things like that, let people know in the comment section, you know. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget about the November tool giveaway. Don't miss out. Go to that video. I'll leave that card at the end. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.